think we have the time, and I think I'd just like to put away what I've prepared and say a few words further extemporaneously. I love you kids. generation this church has ever had. No generation which has gone before measures up to the stature to which you measure up. You're better educated. I think you have greater faith. I think you have shown that faith and are showing that faith than any other previous generation. I'm so thankful for you. I thank you for your strength, for your willingness to do the right thing, for your desire to serve the Lord, for your capacity to help build the kingdom, for the fact that you get on your knees and say your prayers, as I know you do, for the fact that you pray to the Lord to help you, to guide you in the things you do, as I know you do. God bless you for what you are and who you are. Now, don't ever do a cheap or a tawdry or a mean or evil thing. My dear young friends, you don't have to engage in these things. The world is on a slippery slide. It's going downhill and it's going fast. And you are as a beacon on a hill of young people of rectitude and virtue and decency and goodness. Remain that way. Do not destroy your effectiveness. Do not become involved in any kind of behavior which would destroy you, injure you, hurt you, debilitate you in any way, whatever. You don't have to do those things. You can stand above them. You must stand above them. The world will look to you as the years pass. Of that I have no doubt whatever. For if it continues to go in the direction in which it is going, the disparity between the world and this church will grow and lengthen, and we will become more and more of a peculiar people. Now, be faithful. Be true. Go forward. Be ambitious. Don't short circuit yourselves. Don't stop now. Keep growing. Keep going. Educate your minds and your spirits and never lose sight of the fact that you're a child of God with a divine destiny and capable of doing great and good and wonderful things. Don't sell yourselves short. Don't cheapen yourselves. You know who you are. As I look into your faces, I see the future. Keep the faith. Maintain your integrity. Be honest. Be good. Be decent. Be prayerful. And the God of heaven will smile upon you and bless you and give happiness into your hearts and a sense of peace in your lives. Now, I wish for you nothing but the best. I, you're so choice and so wonderful. And the future's so great that you can't afford to betray yourselves in any way and to do anything less than that which each of you is capable of accomplishing. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be a straight-A student. You just have to do your very best. With all the capability that you have, you have to do your very best. And somehow, if you do that, God will open the way before you and the sun will shine and your lives will be fruitful and you'll accomplish 
great good in the world in which you take a part. I couldn't wish for you anything better.